Hello, welcome to my review of episode 10, the season finale of Raised by Wolves. This is going to be a spoilers review, so if you haven't seen it, for sure, stop it right here. I watched it last night, and right after, I had to go onto YouTube to watch some discussions of other YouTubers, people that are much more knowledgeable than I am, because I was so lost and confused on part of the episode i'm not a religious person i have never read the bible so i miss a lot of the metaphors that this show have given to viewers okay for example the snake that that was bad shit crazy okay did not expect that did anybody even predicted that a flying a flying snake that was so crazy but I could tell you this I absolutely enjoy mothers and father again in this episode I love the interaction between both of them throughout the episodes and the willingness to sacrifice at the end um, and that part confused me again. Did they go through the hole into the center of the planet and then went through the center of the planet and out the other side of the planet, right? They didn't go in and bounce out. And I was confused about that. But let me know if you have seen the episode and that's, is, is that what you understood? At least that's what I understood. Um... Once again, I'm not a huge fan of Saul's voice or inner thoughts into other characters, especially for in this episode, it's Paul. Didn't really care for what happened with Paul. The children, for the most part, for this season, did a good job acting-wise. They chose well. I had little problem with, with the acting of the children, I had more of the way they were portrayed in many of the episodes and for this one Paul and the way he talked about Saul and how he figured out that his mother is not his mother I that 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 did not work for me and then Marcus that did you know I Marcus was an intriguing character at the beginning of the season but at the season went on I definitely care less and less about him especially now by the finale I'm just like I'm so over that character um, he was able to snuck up on the, the soldier I mean he was fumbling and stumbling like a drunk sailor so I find it hard to believe that he was able to snuck up on that soldier and then the, the best part about that scene is, of course, the spaceship above. The most intriguing aspect of the last episode is the de -evol evolution. De evolution. Yeah, that part. Wow. Okay, and uh, like I said, it is the reverse of the world that we know. We are de evolving. And the devil is running the show. Like I said, I'm so confused. Um, overall, I didn't hate the episode, but I certainly didn't love it because I left with so many questions. I enjoyed it enough this season to give a 7.5, okay, for the entire season. It's definitely not an 8 or better for me. I like it enough, intrigued enough by it that I want to see a season 2. And that's it. That's my spoiler review of the final episode. It was crazy. That snake thing was absolutely bonkers, okay? Bye-bye.